My name is Mavis Hawa Consin. I was born in the year 1966, 3rd February, a northerner, a Christian, and I'm married with three children. Mr. Chairman, I started my elementary school. I had a bit problem with my elementary school because my father was a police officer. So I was going where, where on transfers. So where I remember is Gambaga, where I started in the 1980 to 1985. Then completed the middle school in Bimbila. 1986. Then I entered the teacher's training college at Bimbila, 1987 to 1991. Came out as a professional teacher. And I taught for 21 years. Mr. Chairman, I also wrote my O-level certificate privately at Christian Methodist. That was to 1986 to 87. Then from 2000 to 2006, I had my diploma at Winneba, University of Education. And 2008 to, to 2011, I had my degree from the same university. Mr. Chairman, I also had Certificate at GIMPA, that's Certificate of Public Administration. I mean, in public administration in 2014. 2015, I also had a diploma in public administration at GIMPA. Mr. Chairman, currently I'm doing my master's at GIMPA. It's ongoing and I'll be completing in April 2017. Thank you. In which area of study are you doing your master's? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm specializing in um, international relationship and diplomacy. <laughs> um, all right, let's go straight to the CV. I see that February 2015 on page two, it's not page, but the second sheet. February 2015 to May 2015, GIMPA. It's a postgraduate diploma certificate in public administration. I think the certificate is misplaced, so uh, I want your permission to remove the certificate. So it reads postgraduate diploma in public administration. Is that okay? And then August 2015, expected August 2017, program in progress. You give us no information at all. What is it that you'll be doing? Uh, you, you started in August 2015, and you expected to complete in 2017 at GIMPA, and the program is in progress. Something is missing. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That was what I mentioned earlier on. The Master's in Public Administration, where I'm specializing in the international relationship and diplomacy. Thank you. We will, we will correct your CV to provide the course that you're studying there, all right? Mm. It's your own sort, so watch it. Employment history, you say 2013 date. 2013 to date, I'm sure you want to say to date. You just leave date there. But what is intriguing there is just when you come beneath it, you have leadership positions held. Then you say 2012 date. So in one breath, you are 2012 date. In another breath, you are 2013 date. Which of them do you want us to go with? Um, employment history. I was writing 2013 to 2016 as a member of parliament for Autosenia East. 
and then the positions held. Um, it's also a member of parliament from 2013 to 2016, uh, 17. Yeah. The chairman can affect the corrections as you've indicated. Yes, please. Are you a member of National Association of Teachers or, by extension, National Association of Teachers Ladies Association? Which of them is your professional? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think it was a printing mistake. I'm a member of the National Association of Teachers. And then, Mr. Chairman, permit me to also do this correction at... Uh, Leadership positions held. I was a head teacher to um, as leadership positions that I held. That was at ICODES, uh, Islamic Council on Humanitarian Development Services, one of the Islamic schools in Kaswa. Thank you, sir. Chairman, the other one. Uh Okay, you got it right, but African Parliamentary Executive Meeting, Morocco, where in Morocco? The other one you say Angola, where in Angola? The other one you say Sweden, where in Sweden? Because you couldn't have just gone to Morocco or gone to Sweden or gone to Tanzania. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, congratulations, Honorable Mavis Howard Kumsen. I'll take you through your CV page after page. Um, you notice that the template we provided, we requested that you give us your residential address. Uh, you have omitted that. Kindly let us have that after the sitting. We don't want you to put that uh, out publicly. On your bio data and personal profile, still on page one, uh, you've been a teacher for 21 years, and I know that uh, teachers are very, very meticulous. You see the spelling of February? I hope we have your permission to change it. Your date of birth, 3rd February 1966. And uh, I hope we have your permission to change same. Uh, there is another uh, variation of the spelling of February on page 2. Uh, February 2015 to May 2015. We need your permission to correct that as well. The table you provided and the education background, you notice institution. We need your permission to also correct that, correct the spelling of institution. And we also need your permission to correct the spelling of Winneba. Winneba, you have noticed that. We need your, we need your permission to correct that as well. Then we also would want you to explain your basic education. Um, you have here 1985, Zubzi Primary to Medical School. You were born in 1966, so you must have been 19 years. Uh, did you start primary school 19 years? Can you please uh, explain uh, what The nominee okay? has offered an explanation that she was going around the country with her father, so this is the only part she remembers. So I think that should be sufficient. Okay, that's uh, that's okay, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, can the Honourable Nominee help us uh, with an explanation on your academic pursuit? You were teaching between 1991 and 2012. You have indicated that you were a teacher between 1991 to 2012. You say non-stop, teaching for 21 years. But you have here entries 1995 to 1997, your O-level, 2002 to 2006, a diploma in basic education at the University of Education, Winneba, 2008 to 2011. Bachelor of Education at the University of Education, Winneba. How did you go about it? Did you get steady leave, or were you teaching and still doing this at the same time? Can you explain to this committee exactly what was happening, please? 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The 1995 to 97, I was doing private studies. So we're doing it evening after school hours. And then that of the university too, we're doing distance learning. So we go there for some few weeks as on holidays. And then we come back to continue with our work. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, on page three, the third page of the nominee's CV, under your employment history, you do not indicate if you have carried out your compulsory national service. Have you done your national service? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will say yes, because as a trained teacher, from school you have been posted, and we start work from the dates you have been given your, that's 1st September as a trained teacher. So I started my, I said National Service from 1991. Thank you. Okay, and okay. Congratulations, Honorable Awa. We are so proud of you. Yes, um, I have two questions. I want to know, you are, you are the Minister in charge of Special Initiatives and Development. Can you tell us your role? As a minister designate, when given the nod by the committee, my role will be to coordinate the initiatives and implementation of the initiatives from the presidency and then to the grassroots. The Ministry or the office is supposed to deal with special projects to the constituencies or the districts. And as the minister in charge, I'm to coordinate with the development authorities, then bring the feedback to the president, whether it is working or not. Thank you. Very much, Honourable. Uh, could you please tell us um, some of the projects you intend to undertake, assuming you assume work? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As the officer in charge of special initiatives, when I'm giving the nod, some of the projects I will be embarking on will be empowering of women and the youth especially. Those are some of the visions of the president. And I also buy into the idea. We also want to eradicate poverty. So in doing this, empowering the women is not necessarily giving them money to work with, but we can also take them through adult education, those who are not, who have not gotten the opportunity to education. And then also give them through, also help them through health insurance and then empower them through mainstream working. For instance, uh, those who are ready to learn trade, those who are ready to continue with their business. These are some of the things I'll be doing when I'm giving the mandate. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, honorable nominee, I have come across a story by Daniel Edu Daku on Peace FM Online. And in parts of the story, it quotes you as saying that the former president, John Dramani Mahama, His Excellency, was competing, quote, competing with the devil for the crown emperor of lies and deceit. Unquote. Quote, a serial liar. I've also seen another story where during the short cutting ceremony for the Kasua Western Bypass, speaking to Pink FM, 
you refer to the former president John Dramani Mahama as a mad person. Oh. <laughs> Honorable nominee, you are an honorable member of parliament, even then when you uttered these words or used these descriptions. What, what do you have to say, especially so because we would like to have role models of people like you? The question is, what do you have to say about these descriptions of a former president because, you know, attributed to you, because I am sure that the nation is watching, our children may be watching, and we want or expect that people like you, members of parliament, now being vetted to become a minister of state, will serve as role models. Do you think that or those comments allegedly made by you are good examples for our children to emulate. Uh, let me make it simple for you. Did you say those things attributed to you? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I said. I said them. But then I have an explanation. Let me ask you another question. Looking at yourself today, sitting where you are, would you, would you have said the same thing, giving another opportunity? Mr. Chairman, no, please. If no, would you want to retract and apologize for us to move on? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will, but before then, I will also want to explain myself. Chairman, I have a follow-up before her explanation. Do you regret those comments? attributed to the president, father of the country at the time. Do you regret those comments? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, because it was a political talk, and I'm sorry for that. Thank you. Chairman, Chawa, if the deputy majority leader insists, why not? I, I can yield the floor to her, but I know that Chairman had to persuade members to continue today's sitting because we're pressed up for time. So that being the case, Chairman, it's only proper that I proceed and curtail the discussion after just three questions. The nominee is our colleague who has satisfied the requirement of Article 94 of the Constitution. And she's already been elected as member of parliament. So my Hawa, congratulations. President Akufuado has many special initiatives. <laughs> the, the initiatives include one village, one dam, one district, one factory, <laughs> one million. <laughs> Which of the initiative? Shaitis are you responsible for? <laughs> I can tell clearly that uh, the, the length of time we spent in the chamber is affecting uh, so <laughs> we will make it quick so that our please is it our, my question is simple which of the special initiatives are you responsible for? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will be responsible for the one constituency, one million dollars, when I'm giving the nod. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. 
where will you get the money from? <laughs> Says where well, will you know? But uh, the the, uh, the manifesto made it clear we will take a part of the uh, no uh, the capital expenditure budget. They say when the information is available in official records, you know. Chairman, thank you very much. So, apart from one million, what other initiative will be? Just that your your initiative. <laughs> We understand that you you will be a single. Okay, um, the uh, honourable ranking member is as tired as everybody, and uh, we we thank you all for attending. I have no question for you. Uh, what you can be assured of is that all the members here wish you well and we will do whatever we can to assist you succeed in your ministry. Feel free to use all the expertise both left and right of the chamber when, when you are uh, confirmed.